Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Review. Crazy excited for today's beer. Uh, courtesy of my man Gabe. Thank you, Gabe. Really appreciate it. Um, I did have this on draft about a month ago. Really enjoyed it. Uh, he grabbed a four-pack and a bottle to review. So, again, thank you very much. Um, it is their double ale, uh, and then they double barrel it. Brandy and bourbon barrels, then they do a blend. These are things I love. I love doubles. I love their double. Um, Three Philosophers, Hennepin uh, are probably my faves. But I, I really like their core lineup. A lot of uh, Rare Voss always flies under my radar. Then when I find it and have it on draft, it's, I'm always like, man, I like this beer. Why do I forget that I like this beer? So a huge fan. Uh, I like Brandy and Bourbon Barrels a lot. If you watch this channel, you know I, I do a decent amount of beers aged in Bourbon Barrels. But I also like really, really <clears throat> excuse me, really like Bourbon, wow, Brandy Barrels. I'm like crazy hot right now. I just want this beer. <laughs> so anyway, let's get into it. Just under 10% ABV. So not as high as I would have thought with the you know barrels and should have looked up what the double normally is. But uh, yeah, it looks the part. Got proper glassware. One of my many Oma Gang glasses. Tons of head. Jeez. And uh, <laughs> a lot of. Uh, a lot of bubbles on the side that's doing a little something anyway what i'm seeing is pretty close to what you're seeing actually and maybe what i'm seeing is a hair darker uh about three and a yeah three and a half fingers ahead big soapy bubbles a little bit concentrated uh in the center uh kind of a khaki almost like caramel color to the head beer itself has a nice orange brown color uh, man, look how dirty that glass looks. Uh, let's just look here. Look how beautiful it is. Be a nice brown, um, dark red color. Definitely looks apart. Uh, kind of. Again, I haven't had their double in a while, although I do like it a lot. Kind of reminds me of that color. Let's get into the aroma. A lot of that dried fruit. You eat your you know, raisins, figs, all that kind of stuff. Definitely get a nice vanilla note in there as well. Oh, on the back, speaking of vanilla, uh, mahogany hue is what they're calling it. Creamy tan. Oh, tan head. Yeah, okay. Uh, aromas and flavors of vanilla, molasses, burnt sugar, and dark stone fruits. Uh, I'm getting definitely more dried fruit. I get the bourbon and the... It has like a, a spirit quality, uh, uh, spirits that had been aged in barrels. So you do get that oak, you get that vanilla, uh, bourbon brandy specific for sure. The burnt sugar is, for me, is coming across more like caramel, close, you know, it's not too different. I feel like I have a weird energy right now. I'm just really thirsty. It's later than I usually do these. It's a hot day doing crap. Anyway, um, yeah, it smells really good. And I, just, I also want to turn my air conditioner back on because it's so hot right now, but it has that little background noise. It bothers me. I think this is like the third time in a row. This is why I should edit my videos. Cheers. About three quarters of the way in is when it hits me with the wood, the vanilla. It has a lot of that... What they're saying, stone fruit, I, I get a little bit more of like a, a, what I think of as like dark dried fruits. Up front, you get lovely bread, um, a malt character it is, you know, fresh, like a brown bread. <clears throat> Not overly sweet, but a little bit of sweetness there. Do get the molasses in the finish. A little bit of honey, which is nice, but not as sugary as honey is, but that taste of honey is there for sure. The barrel works really well for this beer. Um, a criticism I've had of their barrel age program is that sometimes, the, like their three philosophers, the barrel doesn't always, like they do, a, I'm sorry, they do, a, a, they've done some bourbon barrel aged three philosophers, and it's again one of my favorite beers, the base, but like the barrel character doesn't come across a ton. So it's like, you know, why am I paying the premium for that? Like it's just like, I want to have that, you know, I don't, anyway, this, I get, quite a decent amount um if you like their normal double definitely worth trying just to try like a different variant on it but if you like this this style 
and you like these barrel aged beers, definitely try this. I don't know. I think it's readily available. He got it at the brewery, but I imagine it's around. Get it. Seek it out. For me, this is a winner. Thanks again, Gabe. Thank you guys for watching. Check me out on Instagram on tap. No hype beer reviews at both those places. Always please like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, imbibe. Cheers, everyone.